Ukrainians, the pro-Russian rebels, the mercenaries, as well as Russian mercenaries, as well as uh, the Ukrainian army, they are all involved in the crisis uh, that's taking place nowadays in the southeastern part of our country. We do have a real war. A war which is uh, caused artificially. A war which is caused by propaganda. There is a huge influence of the Russian uh, media, of the Russian uh, propaganda, and uh, due to this influence, most of the people, they actually became victims of the information offered to them uh, by the Russian media, because they, they actually managed to form certain fears in uh, human understanding what was going on in Kyiv, uh, to such an extent that people uh, were actually eager to defend themselves. Our army is standing there and that our guys, young guys, are risking their lives there not in order to fight for certain political projects, but they are standing there in order to protect the most sacred human values, such as human life, human dignity. Today we have to fight our fear, to, to fight our hatred with a very strong sense of hope that we can win, that we do win when we uh, try to do our best and that we actually will win. In the context of real threat, uh, people are more open to the supernatural, are more open to the transcendent, are more open to God. So the church is here to bring light, to bring peace, to encourage, to offer hope, to unite us all together, to help us take responsibility for our common future.